Well, it's the afternoon of October 21st, and I just got set up in the tree. I got in a little late, but on a cold front like this, it's better late than never, so. Uh, we got about two hours left. We got about a high of 51 today. It rained all morning, and the temperatures are supposed to drop down into like the 30s tonight, 31 degrees maybe, I think. We're going after R2, and I think we've got a really, really good chance of seeing him tonight. The anticipation for this hunt is super high. Last night I got pictures of him moving through the dry ponds under my stand, and then working through the three acre field, hitting a scrape and moving towards the west to this big block of timber here to the south of me. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's bedded up here, and this is a main travel corridor for him. I got a picture of, of him up here about a week ago. He's been using this again, and uh, I'm thinking with the cooler weathers, hopefully we get some does or just some deer out in these beans, and he'll make his way out here too. So um, I'm thinking it's gonna be a really good night. Uh, the wind is marginal for this stand. It's nor northerly, but uh, we could get away with it pretty easily. It's supposed to die down towards the end of the night, so it's gonna be a good night. Let's see what happens. Well, that was pretty exciting. Uh, it was a pretty good encounter with the deer that I've had quite a few pictures of this year. He's just a really nice 130s, eight pointer, probably a three year old. But uh, I actually grabbed my bow, thinking it was R2. I couldn't see him through the leaves right here, right away. Really nice deer, fun to see. He made, made the night, really. So, <laughs> we, uh, Definitely could have shot him, it's just the wrong deer, so. I just got back to the truck, and I know I did a closing interview in the tree, but I just had a pretty eventful walk out. Um, after I got down, I was walking the edge of this field back, and uh, up on the hill in the horizon, I saw a doe, and uh, I pulled up the binos to look at her, or see what it was, and I could see the doe. And then all of a sudden I looked to her right and all I saw was antlers on the horizon um, and I could tell it was R2. It was, it's too dark to film anything so I didn't get any footage of him. But I ended up freezing there and uh, just watching him and he was looking at me and he ended up posturing up thinking I was a buck, another buck and coming into about 40, 50 yards and uh, just having a stare off with me. It was a pretty cool encounter and pretty cool experience. I wish I could have got it on video. It's just so dark, um, there's no light. So um, we were in the ball game tonight. He just didn't take the right trail or the right route out. So exciting to know that, but uh, he just took a couple bounds to to the south and stood in the bean field and I slowly walked off and he never budged. Him and that doe are probably still out in the standing beans there. So a slow night turned into a pretty eventful one. So it's only gonna get better and more exciting. So hopefully we can get on him. Well, it's the afternoon of October 22nd and Elliot and I just got set up in the pond stand. 
we got a high of about 48 degrees today and uh, pretty overcast skies for the most part where this pond stand is where I passed up R2 two years ago right when Shelf Heifer shot barbs here. Um, so we definitely know this is his core area. He's been working this funnel a lot again uh, this year just like he has in the past. So I encountered him last night out in the big bean field uh, to the north of here on my walk out last night. So we know he's in the area and uh, we just need him to come through this funnel doing his normal thing. So it should be a good night. It's gonna cool down and the wind's gonna die down towards the end of the night. We've got a, a northerly wind, which is sets up pretty good for this stand. So we're gonna sit back and get quiet and see what the night brings on. got about 10 minutes left and it was a pretty good night. We saw just the doe and fawn and that nice eight pointer. We are crawling down here and we are jumping in the truck and driving straight up to Buffalo County. So hopefully we can uh, get on a couple of good bucks up there. The weekend's gonna be really good. So we're picking up Austin and leaving straight from his house. We're gonna be back in the tree tomorrow morning. It's gonna be like 29 degrees up there. So they should be cruising pretty good. So we will see you guys in the morning in Buffalo County. Morning of October 23rd here 
and last night, after owning the main property, we jumped in the truck and took the long drive over to western Wisconsin, and we're out here this morning in a stand that we call a Spider-Man stand. Um, it's right on top of a ridge, kind of overlooking two different valleys. We got in pretty clean um, when we were up in the tree. We did spook one doe, and then we had another one come through that, that was nice and calm, so it should be a pretty good morning. Uh, it's about 30 degrees this morning. There was a nice heavy frost on the ground, so we're hoping the deer are up on their feet. There's quite a few mature bucks out here that we're looking to target. So if any one of them happens to come through, hopefully it presents us with a, with a shot opportunity. Austin is uh, across the property in the hickory stand. I haven't heard from him yet, but hopefully he's having some good luck too. So stick with us and hopefully it's a solid morning.
It's uh, about 10.30 now, and we're gonna crawl down here pretty soon. We had a really good morning. Um, I think we've seen five different bucks and quite a few does as well. They were all younger bucks, probably two and three year olds, but it was really fun seeing a lot of deer this morning. This afternoon, we're probably gonna sit over some beans and see if we can get a mature buck coming out to feed. Welcome to Midwest Whitetail Great Lakes. It's Sunday, October 24th, and I thought we'd bring you a little update here of the past week's hunting. We finally started to see some good bucks here. Um, within the last week, we've really been struggling. It's kind of been an odd October, and that uh, a lot of bucks that we've had that we were waiting to show up hadn't showed up yet. Um, there's a lot of crops still in, in the fields right in our little area here, so uh, the soybeans, the brassicas, things like that that are out in front of us. I don't think are quite having the same draw, so hopefully some of that comes off the fields over the next week or so. Um, but we did finally start to see a few bucks. Um, on Tuesday, uh, one of our best bucks that we were looking for back showed up finally. Uh, I said last year we called him the G2 buck. He really got a lot bigger. He was out in front of this blind Tuesday morning, and then my dad actually got a really good video of him Thursday night. Um, I elected not to shoot him uh, because he knew that I was coming up this weekend so we were going to try and uh, make that happen together so um, he's the number one buck on our target list. Got a couple other bucks um, that we saw. Pointy Nine is a four year old. He didn't get really much bigger from last year. Uh, he would be a potential buck that we would, would kill depending on what time of season it is. Chopper um, is another buck. He's on the other side of the road. Um, he's back from last year. He's probably four or five years old. Um, I've had some pretty good hunts. Morning hunts have been better than evenings for us, uh, or at least for me for this weekend. Uh, we've seen almost every buck that we had trail camera pictures of, and a lot of, you know, good three-year-old kind of deer have been up moving around, chasing does a little bit. Um, but that's, so it's been, you know, it's been pretty fun hunting. Um, over this last week and over this last weekend and should continue to get better. Finally, we've got some good weather. It feels good to be out uh, out with some cool weather uh, in the stand. That's nice. So um, that's really what we've got to update right now. Hopefully we get some crops off the field um, and everything kind of, you know, the deer activity in general picks up uh, because it's been bucks and does that have been a little bit slow this year, even on camera. So uh, that's what we've got here from Wisconsin. And uh, hopefully we'll have some good stuff for you next week.